the amazing piece of the ManyChat Pixel is it actually allows you to track conversion events. And an added huge benefit to that is to fire off automation based off of those conversions happening. So this is definitely something that will benefit you and your business going forward. So let me show you how to do it. So one use case for this that I use for my clients is, let's say my client has a booking form on the website. So I can put on the thank you page after someone books or after someone opts in the Manchat Pixel that when that conversion event fires off, that it will send them a message saying, thank you for scheduling your appointment or thank you for opting in, here's the next steps. See how powerful that is? It's super powerful and relevant to the user. Let me walk you through how to do that. So first, what you need to do is get your Manchat Pixel. So if you go under settings here, down at the very bottom is Pixel. So this is the pixel code, and this is the code that you put in for any um, website, uh, growth tools, things like that. You wanna have that uh, if you don't already on your website for a growth tool, then you can copy this, and then you'll paste this into the head of your website. So that's the first part. The second part is the actual conversion events. So you see conversion events here. Let's say for the example that I gave earlier that we're saying appointment scheduled, right? So we'll just say, or we'll just say opted in. And if this was, for example, let's say it was a purchase thing. So let's say they opted in and purchased. So then you could say generates revenue and then you can choose the currency. So this would help in the, um, uh, in the graph to show you how much you've made based off people hitting this website and the pixel being fired off. But if you're just doing an opted in, then that's what you put here. You'd leave that unchecked. So you uh, hit create. So you see, it's there, created, it's perfect. Next, what you do is you need to take that pixel code that you copied, and then you go to your website. So I'm just gonna use this ClickFunnels landing page because it's super simple for me to show exactly how to do this. So here's the big piece of information that is super important to save you huge headaches because I had a huge headache for this with this for days trying to figure it out, hitting my head against the wall. When you have somebody go to your website from ManyChat to track the conversion, two main things you need to have happen. One, they need to click from a button to the website. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so let me just add a button here. Let's just say uh, like go to the website, right? So we're just gonna say website and then you have the URL, then you put the URL there. So you have to have them go to the website by clicking this button. It can't be a link in the text. You can't tell them go to this website or whatever, they have to click that button. That button click is what initiates the pixel to listen for the conversion event. So that's tip, big tip number one. Big tip number two is that the website URL that you put in here needs to be the same domain as the thank you page. So you go to your website and in the tracking code section in the head, in the header code, you put in the ManChat pixel. So that's what it's gonna be listening for them to go through this, right? So they'll go through this and they will hit submit after you get put in their name and email. But what you want is for the conversion event to happen on the thank you page. You go into the header, same thing, and you install the pixel there as well. So you install the pixel there as well, like that. Now, for the conversion event. The conversion event under here doesn't list code that you put on there, right? So if you go to Manchat's knowledge base in their help portal, and you type in Manchat pixel conversion, this shows you setting up events on your website. So it supports two types of events. Conversion events, just like firing off, like did it happen? Um, and then money events. So money events are like if a purchase is made, right? Where you can include the money part. So you can see here where it has, this is the fire log money event. And you can include the event name, weight and currency. Uh, so you can see here, fire money event, my book purchase, the amount, and then the, uh, the currency. The other option is 
the conversion event. So this would be the window dot uh, fire log conversion event, and then you just put the conversion event name there. So in this instance, we're gonna make sure we put in the conversion event that we created, the name, opted in. And for that, I am actually just going to copy this so I don't mess up. I actually have it in notes that I've had for a year or two, and this works great, um, that you just put in here, like the conversion event code, like this, copy and paste. This is great for those of us who are not coders. <laughs> okay, so here you can see my event name, right? So this is where I wanna say, put in opted in, right? That's exactly how it, oops, not in the, there you go. So this will fire off this conversion event. Okay, so then this whole thing of you're like, okay, great, it fires it off. What what does that mean? Um, so what you can do then is go under home here and insights, and you can actually see down here conversion events. So you can pull up the one that you have, which here we go, opted in. Of course, there's none right now, but this is where you will see the conversion events. So this is great for tracking on the website. Now, if you wanna take it the next step further, like I mentioned earlier, you can set up a rule that when the conversion event happens, when this event happens, opt it in, you can then start a flow. And you can choose whatever flow it is that you want from your bot. You can have this either any number of times or one time. Uh, the other thing I would suggest too, just because it's not easily um, searched for is add a tag that they have done this, right? So you can add a tag that they opted in. Um, website. You can do it that way, or if it's an instance with your website where they could do it multiple times that you wanna see, you know, are they going through this a, a lot, then you can actually instead do a custom field and increase it by one every time that this rule fires off and then just hit save and, and activate it. So that is how you track conversion events with the ManyChat Pixel. I hope you see how exciting and powerful that really is and that there are really a ton of different ways to use the ManyChat Pixel within your chatbot automation. Now, if you have any questions, make sure you visit the ManChat community on Facebook, uh, as well as utilizing the ManChat blog to get ideas uh, for your business. So I hope this helps and happy bot building.